past 15 weeks, a group of 14 students were working on a tangible tabletop tower defense game. It was part of a semester lab on the RBTH Aachen University together with the Media Computing Group. We came up with an original idea uh, in which a number of color blocks try to attack a beautiful painting at the center of a table. The reason why we came up with this theme was that it involves no violence, so it is suitable for all players of all ages and backgrounds. We designed different towers with different interactions to create different experiences. We created different type of blobs with different strengths, weaknesses and sizes. When the player destroys a blob, it will leave a stain on the table. The colorful stains will create a unique and beautiful painting which will be shown at the end of the game. Working on the Media Computing project was a really cool experience. When I look back, when we first planned out the project and we wrote the first few lines of code for the basic game structure. Then we took the ideas from the game design group and thought about how we could implement them until we have now a fairly large project. Then we sat down with the Tangible group to work on the actual communication between our software and the Tangibles. It did not work as smoothly as planned and it needed a lot of debugging. In general, there were a few stressful moments during the project, but when we got it working and see the final project, it was worth it. concern was how the user physically connects to the tangible. People often tend to be nervous around new technology and fear of breaking or misusing it. Thus we focused on making the tangible accessible and not intimidating, hiding all the electronics and wrap it up in an intuitive, natural and easy to use object known from everyday life. And we wanted you to step in front of the table and know how to use the tangible straight away. Mm -hmm.